Hi there, this is Tiger Shack from the Eagle Forums, and uh, today I'd like to talk to you about making a panel in, uh, in A10, or actually designing a, a hardware input panel for A10. Um, just to give you an idea of what about talking about, what inspired me, it was the, uh, the HOTAS, the Warthog HOTAS from Thrustmaster. It has a very nice feature where as you flick toggle switches on the throttle, it mimics the same throttle uh, toggle switches that you see uh, in the cockpit of the game. It was really quite cool. Now, I can't afford a uh, Thrustmaster HOTAS, but uh, I do have a small uh, background in electronics, and I thought, why don't I make my own? So, uh, through a series of videos, this is part one, what I like to do is I like to show you the making of, uh, basically I wanted to start with an electronic, uh, the, ele the electrical power panel which is this panel here. It's one of the panels used um, mainly in the startup of the aircraft and I thought it would be very cool to be able to flick some of these switches just like you do on the on the throttle in order to have that kind of tactile feel that you would get from the throttle. So I'd start with the electrical panel but you can see that I, I decided I wanted to expand it a little bit and basically what I'm going to walk you through is the building of something like this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to find yourself a, a, what we call an ABS box, so a, a black plastic uh, enclosure, or you can find yourself a, a black aluminium uh, enclosure or any kind of enclosure you want, in fact. You just need to be, have something where you can drill holes in to put toggle switches in. You're going to have to buy yourself a series of uh, toggle switches. I would recommend getting uh, double throw single pole switches. Um, and a series of also maybe push buttons as well. And uh, what you need to do is you need to drill these and put these toggle switches into, uh, into a box and uh, that would be the first step done. Now uh, what I would like to do to show you how to get that step going and how I built this. Now this is just a piece of paper that I've overlaid on top of, uh, of this box. What I actually ended up doing was designing something in Adobe Illustrator where I took the measurements of the uh, the toggle switches and I, I put them on and drew also guides uh, along each uh, each point here if I just turn on the guide so you can see them so I could align everything up um, and this will be your first step this gives you a guide then when you overlay this on your box of where to drill the hole so you get a sort of a lineup of all your different toggle switches otherwise it could be a little bit difficult I just put this paper on top I drilled through the paper into the plastic in order to drill holes and this will help you with the alignment. Um, also, at the same time, you might want to take uh, the opportunity to draw in your different uh, or type in your different text for each one of the switches. You can see what I've done is I've expanded basically the electrical power uh, panel stops here. But I thought it would be also good if I would include other things that would assist with the startup. So, for example, the uh, boost pumps, uh, left wing, the main pumps, then the APU start. And I thought since it's always very annoying the uh, landing gear warning silence button would be nice there. I still haven't quite perfected this shape yet that goes around it, but uh, we'll get there and hopefully in future videos you'll get to see that done properly. So uh, this is basically the first step. Um, design your panel in Illustrator. Uh, use the measurements of the box that you've bought so that you can then drill holes into the panel and then mount your toggle switches. Um, you, I mentioned before double throw. We could go into more detail about that. Just take my word for it for the moment that you probably want double throw switches. And uh, in part two, I'm going to show you after you've mounted your switches, how do you get your switches connected to your computer and uh, so that you can start seeing some, some button presses. And then with the third part, we deal with how to connect your uh, button presses into DCS A10. So um, I hope this has uh, been useful for you so far. Please uh, stay tuned for uh, episode two or part two, where I will show you how to wire up and what you need in terms of equipment in order to, uh, to move your project forward. So uh, please leave some comments in the thread. Uh, if you want to know more, ask some questions. Um, you can buy these switches from any electronic store as well as the enclosures as well. I suggest you Google some stuff. These are just normal talking switches. As I said, you want double throw, single pole. If you want uh, to add LEDs and stuff later on, you might want a dual pole as well, but that's up to you. Maybe we should talk about that in another episode. 
But I uh, hope this has been good. Leave some comments in the thread.